we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Mike Watsa. Uh, I know many of you. And I, 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 don't get, I don't get a lot of uh, clapping, generally, so I appreciate that. Uh, uh, one time I was on the floor of the legislature fighting for you guys, and uh, AT&T referred to me as a, an asshole. And I was mortified, only to find out later that my that Jan Howard and Deb, all the clients in the back of the room were thrilled. They thought it was great. So, so well, I'll take clapping. Clapping is good. So I'm a regulatory lawyer, and I am the impromptu moderator. So I'm going to get on and get off and get out of these guys' ways because they want to talk with you about all kinds of good technology stuff. We have Dave Layton. I know all of you know Dave. Hey there. And, yeah. More clapping. And, and Keith Bourne, some of you may know, some of you may not. Um, in one of my roles when I'm not helping uh, Peg and so on is uh, I'm general counsel for the Mobile Technology Association of Mi Michigan, and I'm going to roll through a few slides for you in a few minutes. Um, anyway, um, Keith was on our board. He is an application designer, right? I said that right? I'm a mobile strategist. But the mobile strategist. They do all the development stuff. There. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the reason, uh, Ralph, other than my, uh, my ask. The reason Ralph had me here is um, I was at the Alliance Natoa MAB thing in February, and I gave sort of a pitch about why, uh, why you folks, why all of us, have to change. Uh, Peg obviously has a long and, and great history, but um, sitting on the National Natoa board, I've been watching as we've been pulling in more and more technology, information technology people into the business in the, of NATOA. Why is that? Well, because PEG is part of communications, and communications is getting very technological, for those of you who are not aware. Um, and so that's why we're having this session. And Ralph thought, well, Mike, you can set this up. Why, why, do, we, why do we need to be worried about technology? Well, all right, so uh, you know that laptop you have? We have several of them in here. God forbid you have a, a desktop. Um, those are anachronisms. They, they, are the his, they are history. Everything's mobile. Who's under 30 in here? Yeah. Uh, you, you walk around. <laughs> Sorry. You walk around with this, right? Smartphone. Uh, everybody's walking around with these, and you'll see some numbers. I'll throw them out of here real quick. Um, or Dave will throw me out of the room, but this is the device that everyone's going to use, and because it is wireless and, and, and mobile, uh, it, it's the future. Um, in Michigan, we just had a Michigan, uh, statute passed to uh, streamline, as the industry calls it, in other words, push all the locals out of the way, of uh, adding more antennas to cell towers. Some of you who are on my list here see that. Um, and so the rush is on. The industry says one to two million new antennas nationally within some period of time. That's 20 to 40,000 antennas per state. That's a lot of antennas. That's a lot of towers. So watch for those. But the point is, mobile is here, wireless is here. You've got to deal with it, and you've got to be on it. Because if you're not on it, those folks and everybody coming up behind them, and a lot of us as we learn it, uh, they won't, you, you will no longer be relevant. So. Just like, you know, the, the old VHS versus uh, digital. So, um, mobile is the driver. We are now more mobile than we are population. 1,200% increase on the internet, and it's by a mobile phone. Why is this of interest to you and the business and everybody else? Just as an example, everybody checks their text messages, and they usually do it within 15 minutes. You can't, you can't get that anywhere else in the marketing world and in the business world. And if, so, if you want to be relevant, you want your peg channel to be on somebody is on these, these young people's mind, it's got to be mobile. Text messages, number one, mobile websites, applications. Um, we all talk to each other on our mobile phones. We do some uh, data transfer to each other. Is that the future? 
No, it is part of it. The real future is machine to machine. And if you haven't thought about it, um, you need to start thinking about it. Who's heard about the smart grid? Right? Energy smart grid, smart meters, anybody? All right, it's out there. Uh, the energy companies want your refrigerator talking to their power plant, telling them when's the best time for the, the refrigerator to be on so we can uh, maximize the utility of these plants so that they're, so we soften the peak times and use up more of that downtime so we don't have to build more power plants. That's just one small piece of all this. It's estimated that there will be 60 billion machine to machine connections within the next eight years. And I just point out there's only 7 billion people. So what in the world is talking to each other? Well, your refrigerator, your microwave, your stove, your car. Uh, and this PowerPoint will be available. It's actually on this laptop, which will go back to Ralph's office. It is endless. The dollars, the activity level is a, a phenomenal. Uh, it's everywhere. Health. Military, just ask uh, folks over in Afghanistan. Uh, government, education, certainly manufacturing. Uh, this is just an example of what mobile can do. Uh, during the crisis of Haiti, uh, we, we, government used uh, anonymous information and via those uh, GPS devices and the phones, figured out where all the folks were so that they could airdrop stuff into them, uh, food. So just a, a simple example. Um, app statistics, and I, I think you'll hear more about that from Keith. Um, that's an old number, 950,000 apps. I forget the number is today, but it's, it's an old number. Um, what's the most commonly used? Facebook, Google, and Weather Channel. 100 million Facebook downloads and that, and that is about one or two year old information. Uh, $38 billion uh, annual bit in 2015, and Apple will only have 20% of the market. Um, let's see, $60 billion. I mean, it, the numbers are staggering. They're all billions. And um, so you got to be there. Uh, it remains job growth, 3.9. So Mobile Technology Association of Michigan is trying to promote Michigan as a, as a uh, job growth place with mobile as one of the drivers. So we figure that's 30,000, 40,000 jobs apart from just the simple mobile industry. And anybody know what that is? That symbol? Everybody knows. Some, but some don't. You don't have to say anything. Uh, that that's how you find things from now on. You got to have one of those readers on your phone. If you don't, uh, you can download one. If you think that's a good one, there's a bunch of them. So MTAM, just a brief commercial announcement. It's a nonprofit. Uh, we have Mobile Mondays once a month at CompuWare. CompuWare is a sponsor. Verizon is a sponsor, uh, and we're trying to promote mobile, but it's not even promoted. It's organized in some fashion so that we can all be aware of it. So that's really it. I threw in one item uh, because I know this is really a cable group and we still think about cable. So uh, this headline yesterday, Justice Department probing cable company internet data limits. Why is that important? Why is cable limiting internet to like Netflix? <laughs> Why would they do that? Because it interferes with their video product, which is still a big money maker. Is that okay? Well, for those of us in the room who are making money from peg fees or franchise fees, it's not a bad idea. We want Comcast to be successful on its video, but we want competition, right, in the video market. And uh, so you got a lot of things in the mix. This will be a very interesting development. You got the FCC who has said it's okay if they. It's okay if they protect their market because you know we're trying to watch out for cable. But you got the Justice Department saying, eh, and I trust, you can't, you can't do that. Netflix has a right to survive. You have one of the few accesses to the consumer. 
you got to make it available to everybody. So that's it. Dave, how was that? That was super turbo good. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, with that,